Welcome back, RMXers. So, what we're going to be working on is the Kong. Now, the Kong comes from many different cultures. The movement is a new, and it has a very simian like movement to it. Some people call it the Chimp. That's different from the ape step that you've seen in Prisera body flow. So we're going to work on it today. There are some unique aspects of this flow that I've put together for you. You can use it as a, a dynamic warm-up, an athletic warm-up, especially for the ventral and dorsal strength of being able to move through the full anterior chain and being able to develop decelerating strength to brace using core activation so that you stop on a dime and be able to keep the, the shoulders in a closed pack position. Much more effective than a conventional push-up, this will allow you to learn how to pull with the arms so that you're pulling down to the core while packing the shoulders into the closed pack position. So when you see the, the repetition, you can do this as a single exercise that's cyclical. You can do it for repetition on distance, for speed, for weight with a weight vest, but let's focus on technique first. When you first see people do it, you'll, you'll see them do a bronco, and I'll show you the difference between the bronco which is back and forth, and the Kong, which is diving out, gripping the ground before your legs hit, pulling down with the hands to place your feet flat foot. So this is a really important cue. You wanna stay off of ball of foot and get to flat foot or midfoot balance for the next propulsion because you go from flat foot to ball of foot, you launch, dive out, hit with the hands and before your feet touch, you pull down with the hands before the, so that the core kicks in before your feet touch, then flat foot balance and you begin the next repetition. So I'll give you a, a, a repetition cycle of going through one lap of the column and then we'll look at the particulars. do it again I'm going to show you what not to do and what your your first tendency will be to do is to keep the elbows out and to stay on ball of foot rocking back and forth so it ends up looking like a poor man's bear crawl now try it again and look at the technique of landing pulling with the arms landing midfoot bounce beginning flat foot shift to ball of foot and dive forward fingers out land palms pulling knees to chest Land flat foot. Now going through the full flow that I've created is rather unique because of the intelligent design of the flow. When you go through the Kong flow or the Chimp flow, the focus is the anterior chain, being able to draw with the hands, land midfoot balance. But because, because of all of that forward hip flexion, because of pitching the hips forward and not having full hip extension, it needs to be balanced out with a functional opposite. Programmed into the chimp flow is a hip extension coming into the worm. So you'll see chimp, chimp, stick it. In order to stick it in crow, you're really gonna have to practice and I would suggest that you have a mat down in front of your face. Keep your chin tucked down so that if you do hit, you'll at least hit with the top of your head. The top of your head being here rather than here. Land with the middle of your head rather than compressing your spine. We can work on, a, on the crow pose later and that'll take some time for you to be able to develop the stabilizing strength. The best, the best technique that you could use is to exhale and contract your core as tightly as possible, keeping the elbows in so that you can land with your thighs on the outsides of your triceps. Keep the elbows locked if possible. If you can't lock the elbows, then work on pressing until you can lock the elbows. There, there's technical development there as you refine the skill. Coming out of the crow will be your first worm. If you can't do the worm, just press your leg straight back into a plank or push-up position. But if you can work on the worm, you need to because it's for full hip extension. And the worm throws the hips down and the knees up. As you come out of it, you press back with the palm heels. Drive your knees toward the sky, your hips down, hips down, so that you can get that round contour into the ground. You'll tad pull out of it, knees come to the side, heels rotate down so that you come back to a flat foot stance. And I'll demonstrate it. Once you're in it, 
you'll hit two more chimps, chimp forward, chimp forward, crow. And you can repeat that. Or you can go on to the second level. In the second level, as soon as you come out of the tadpole, you'll fall back, sliding both arms straight out backwards. Go to do a shoulder roll over one shoulder, not over your head. Move your head out of the way. Knees go back, hips go forward in order to elevate your spine. Get full hip extension so that you roll down the chest to the hips, to the thighs, and then come back to a flat foot squat with a little, with a little pop. That'll take some practice. It will take some practice. You can start with just rolling, rolling over, pushing into an upward facing dog and doing a tadpole out of it. But I'll give you the full technique and then practice the calm, practice the chimp. As you develop that, you can move into the full flow, start with level one, I'll give you level one first, then we'll do level two, and I'll give you some regressions to work on.